Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have now gone two days without a cover star icon SBC. We thought we were getting one on Friday. We didn't get one yesterday on Saturday, but today we actually know we are getting one. That still leaves us questioning where that second icon is going to be dropped. But regardless, we are getting an icon SBC today, guys. I want to talk you through that, the Mateus that we know we're getting today, and what else could be coming today as a part of content, as well as the 400k pack is back, and that's great for us. And also, we have some EAFC news to talk about on this fine Sunday. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. We're going to roll it back and look at some of the content that was dropped yesterday. There was a lot of action in the SBC sections, really nothing going on in the objectives grind but make sure today is day 10 as we log into sunday day 10 make sure you get that daily login completed today we get an 85 times five pack that's going to be very nice but bringing it back to yesterday on saturday three sbcs icon player picks were the main variety of sbcs that we got two different ones the 90 plus which i don't even want to talk about and the 93 plus this one is a the highest rated icon player pick we've had yet in an sbc it's a one of five but really i'm struggling to find out or figure out like what the point of this sbc is at least the way that i see it foot birthday team of the year trophy titans besides r9 are all kind of behind the curve. If you're doing this icon player pick SBC, which is 75% upvoted, you're really hunting after Pele, you're hunting after R9 Trophy Titans, Thierry Henry Shapeshifters, maybe Garincha Shapeshifters. There's like four cards out of that entire player pool that really you want. And the rest are just kind of like, okay. So I don't know, that player pick for me, I see that it's 75% upvoted. I know that icon player picks are fun and of course, it's free right now, right? With the 84 and the 85 times 10 grind. So it's there. I don't see too much of a point for me to do it, but that's just me. If you guys are hunting after those top tier icons, this is probably the best player pick to do. Let's be honest. I mean, it's going to be pretty easy to get done. 288 in the 89 rated squads. We do 88 rated squads in our sleep now for the 85 times 10. So that's there. The 90 plus icon pick. I don't even know why they re-released this. This should literally just not be here. This is an SBC that we have been having now in this game. It almost seems like for two months, right? That's just behind the curve. No thanks. The real player pick that we're all still doing is the 90 plus Todd Shapeshifter and Footies because the team 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 Footies cards and the 99 rateds inside of it. But that big 94 plus comes back today too. So again, if you're not knowing what to craft or where to put your unlimited fodder, that 94 plus is coming back today and that might be the one you put it into. But icon player picks for me, yeah, they're okay. 93 plus. I really am not hunting after any of those. If I'm going to pack Henri or if I'm going to pack, uh, I already packed Garincha. Uh, I haven't packed Pele yet, but Pele or Henri, if I'm going to hit those, I'm probably just going to hit those through like 84 and 85 times tens because those cards are in packs and people have been hitting them because they're in the best of batch three. So that's just my take. But if you find some fun in that SBC, go ahead and do it. Now, we also had a player SBC yesterday. Was it an icon? It was a hero. Nakata, five star, five star. Hero card Syria, um, highest Japanese player ever to grace FIFA Ultimate Team, I do believe. Nice looking card, not that great. I mean, there's better ones that are, I mean, you compare that to Mudrik. Unless you're a Nakata fan, then this probably doesn't speak too much to you. I look at the Mudrik card and I'm thinking, okay, Mudrik can play center attack in mid as well. Personally, I would rather have this card with the 99 agility, 99 dribbling stat, and a little bit better finishing attack positioning and, you know, pace than uh, than this Nakata. But still, not a bad card by any means. 75 defense as well, and pretty much free. 141,000 coins is the price, but of course, very, very craftable. Now, the biggest news from yesterday's content, for me at least, is that the 400k pack is back in the store, man. And this is very exciting because I cannot wait to rip 400k packs this week and refill my club with all the gold and the fodder that I will need as I continue to craft through 90 plus player picks and try to hit the 99 rated footies cards that are a part of this promo. And uh, of course, the pack probabilities are cracked. 25% of a premium footies player and 19% of a footies hero because there's no normal footies cards in this team six. It's all premiums and heroes and a 73% chance of a shapeshifters icon player. That's pretty crazy. As always, the percentages in this 400k pack are mental uh, and the 500k packs are back as well. I don't even touch these. I don't think they're worth it. Really, if you're going to open a pack right now, I think it's the 400k pack right here. And if they do end up dropping that 300k pack from last week with 150 players, that would be my second best pack in the store just because it has so many players 
inside of it. But that pack being back, we're going to open one of those at the end of the video today. I do have a couple 85 times 10s that I want to craft through uh, today as well. But before we get there, let's talk about Sunday content and those cover star icons, and especially the cover star icon coming today. That is Mateus, guys. We know this. It is Lothar Mateus. We are going to be able to get XP from the loan. Again, if you're still grinding like me through the uh, objectives and XP, 600 XP for that today. But hopefully, the card looks like this. It needs to be high rated. I'm talking 98. I'm talking 99. It's kind of what it has to be, especially because this is probably one of, going to be one of the last cover star icons that we see. It's got to be a banger from EA Sports. Now, the great part about this card, too, is you're like, Nate, where am I going to play him? My team right now has no room in it. I've got insane players at center back and center mid. He can play either different position. He can play center mid, center back. I don't know if they'll give him any alternate positions on top of that, but most of the cover star icons, they have not. That's a big, exciting SBC for today, 100%, because of the fact that Mateus is always meta. And it's going to be a new cover star icon to craft. And a lot of you guys will want to collect that card and try him in game because he will be nuts. Now, for a price, that's my next question. How much will this card come out as? Well, we just had an Erling Holland, right? That was 14 squads coming in right around a million coins. I would have to imagine that the Mateus would probably be pretty similar between the like, Del Piero being 16 squads and the Holland being 14 squads. I think it'll be somewhere right there in that same realm of things for this Mateus. If they made it a bit less, that'd be great. But I think that's probably a safe place to assume today. If you're like trying to think ahead, how many squads am I going to have to do for Mateus today? I would at least think it'd be 10 plus. I mean, do you guys think, and this is a question that I came upon myself earlier today. I was like, do you guys think that EA are putting more squads in these SBCs and maybe even making some of these SBCs a little bit more expensive than they really have to be because they just know how unlimited fodder is in the end game right now. I'm sure um, that that is a factor a little bit because again, Holland, yeah, it's still a million coins, but I mean, so easy to do with 14 squads, but they could have very easily made that like six squads, like 14 versus four for Mudrick and Holland. I, I don't know, you know, like that to me is a lot of squads kind of still, even though fodder is free, but that's kind of the range that would put Mateus in today as well. Probably like, you know, the 14, 15 range another big sbc we already mentioned it but the 94 plus is refreshing as a part of today's content as well guys do not miss this okay we're going to be able to do it two more times today do not miss this sbc if you're trying at all to hit 97 and above footies players alloway Rin, of course all the 99s maybe ginola rashford this is the SBC for you. Now, I don't quite remember. I'm gonna have to go back and look at this. This one, I don't think is gonna include Team 6. Yes, it's not gonna include Team 6. So no Lewandowski, no Donnarumma, thank goodness. No 99 Donnarumma to get duplicates uh, because I'm sure we've all been packing him, right? But the Team 6 is not as a part of this player pick. It's only Teams 1 through 5 since this was released before Team 6 came out. And also the 84 times 30 is expiring today, which is a bit interesting because um, this came back last week, I believe, when after it expired, either a day, it was either Sunday or Monday, I think, of last week when this came back. I hope EA refresh it again today or give us, again, we'll say it, I'm just going to keep saying it until it actually comes out, the 83 times 100, all right? EA, drop that SBC into the section today. We would love to see the 83 times 100 just because that's a crazy sounding pack and it would be fun to do at this stage of the game anyway now i'm not going to talk about the market for a lot but i did see a couple things that were interesting to me today the footies cards um, are still in a very interesting spot especially some of these heroes that are near or kind of near their minimum price we mentioned it in yesterday's video i feel like it's worth mentioning again be careful with some of these cards um you know cordoba is only a hundred thousand coins off his minimum price dibala continues to stay right around 700k their prices are pretty stagnant and pretty safe um, i'm recording this video a bit early today so that could be also why um it's saturday or sorry like saturday late night and sunday late night too these prices end up dropping off a good bit more just because think about today's content right you're gonna have mateus you're gonna have a 94 plus refresh you got the 400k pack now in the store more opportunities for people to pack those cards tradable and untradable through packs on the weekend we almost always see the in packs promo cards dropping in price so i would expect that to happen once again today on Sunday. So hopefully today's actually a, a W day of content uh, with the 84 times 30, either refreshing or the 83 times 100, and then a 94 plus player pick and the Mateus coming out. Could be a really, really nice day today for content. Now I do want to talk about EAFC 
really fast because Foot Sheriff put out a tweet yesterday that I found pretty interesting, guys. Um, he posted Man City uh, stats from the beta, um, which is a leak, technically, I guess. Uh, he says, rating reveal is expected to begin next week. It appears they will be soon recording a video with some teams. So if EA is starting to kind of record promotional content with teams and clubs, a part of the whole ratings release, they do a lot of times videos to reveal whose rating is what and all that good stuff and it's fun and whatever. But he says next week. To me, I'm thinking, okay, I'm pretty sure in one of EA's announcements videos or it may have been the Ultimate Team Deep Dive Pitch Notes that came out a couple of weeks ago, they said early September. And I don't know if Sheriff means like next week as in like after this whole entire week or like this i don't know next week to me i think would be the early september time frame so i feel like if they're recording stuff with teams maybe like this monday tuesday wednesday then we wouldn't get the ratings posted until the week after that like september 4th 5th and 6th um that's just kind of looking ahead to eafc stuff but once the ratings start getting tweeted out even if it's just from like some promotional stuff that's going to get the real hype going for eafc 24 and that's really when it's going to start to turn and also you're going to have some of that hype start to turn later on this week as well we'll probably talk about the preseason promo which is not leaked or anything like that but it's kind of just expected at this point as they go open a couple 85 times 10s before i open this big 400k pack um you know the preseason promo is just kind of expected every single year at the end of the year so i feel like we'll be getting some news along those lines this week as well as um, we get closer and closer to just September and what September brings for this game. So I just want to kind of talk about that Foot Sheriff tweet because he says next week, but I really think that think that means the beginning of September. Um, maybe he'll have some leaks before then, but I don't think we'll get a few official communication from EA until we actually seen the calendar turn into September. Wow, boys, we just hit Dybala from an 85 times 10. It's the Mike Theory, bro. I'm telling you guys, the Mike Theory... The dupe theory is so strong right now. Let's go. 85 times 10. Dybala with maxed out agility balance. Woo. That's going to go boom straight into the team. Speaking of 99 theory, by the way, make sure you check out the video on the second channel because that Don Ruma 99 theory is like actually legit. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. So I'll leave a link to that right up here. I can't believe we just hit Dybala out of a cheeky 85 times 10. That was actually pretty insane boom we're gonna send it to the club and i'm gonna have to try him out in a couple of games this week um the thing that i'm having a problem with right now is um i'm not as much motivated to play gameplay but i'm packing all these insane cards and it's like i'm packing all these great cards and i'm gonna end up playing like 10 games of them and and that's it and it feels a bit disrespectful in the end game but it is the end game all right back to earth here with a couple 95s good fodder i'm just gonna quick sell these so that we can open i'll leave 185 times 10 sit in there let's open this last 400,000 coin pack. Oh, sorry. That's an 83 double pack. Just kidding. I thought I had another 85 times 10. I'll just open it really quick. Cheeky team of the season, which is like every single pack right now in this game. Boom. And then let's open this 400k pack to end the video off. I can't believe we just hit Dybala. That's that's like hitting a 99, honestly, because besides Lewandowski, um, you know, we have Donnarumma, but like Dybala is like the second hardest card to pack. Maybe Marquisio is up there too. Wow, that's crazy. All right, here we go. We're now below 3 million coins back in scary territory. I don't like being, I don't like going under another million, like, of coins. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a threshold. I don't like going underneath that. Thought I had Rafael Leal for a second, but it's Pedro G Fuel. Will we have another footies or two at the end of this pack? I would love a Donovan. I'd be down for that. Tamori is in, like, every single one of these. Let's head to the back. 27 duplicates, so it won't be glitched out. Let's get to the back here. Hopefully no massive dupes. It's the worst when you get a crazy, crazy card that's a duplicate. So no Dybala dupes would be nice. Three, two, one, zero. Fred. All right. Didn't have Fred yet. Uh, Richarlison, Rykard. And here we go. Any dupes? Anything crazy at the back? Orsolini and Giroud. Nice. All right. I got a uh, footies card there. And the fodder is back in the club as we needed it to be. So that Dybala is kind of crazy. The red list is still on for this account 100%. But if you guys did enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Happy Sunday. Hopefully Mateus is a nice SBC today. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace. Out.